Hello, I welcome you to the presentation of my seminar topic Extending the Embedded MontiArc Language Family with Embedded MontiArc Application, which I worked on together with my colleague. This video is a short introduction to the general concepts of the topic. It should be watched before the video of my colleague, which is also linked in the description. This topic serves as an introduction to the embedded MontiArc language family as well as a starting point for people who are interested in getting to know the embedded MontiArc language family better. The embedded MontiArc language family is developed using MontiCore. MontiCore is a language workbench that was developed at the chair of software engineering at RWTH Aachen University. It includes features such as the composition and aggregation of languages that are developed using the MontiCore toolchain. The embedded MontiArc language family consists of different languages. The three most important languages are the embedded MontiArc, the MontiMath and the embedded MontiArc math language. The embedded MontiArc language is a structured diagram architecture language. Its purpose is similar to component and connector modeling. It can describe components and ports which are connected to the ports of other components. So a connection represents a directed data exchange between two components. As ports must always have a type, the verification of connections based on the data type of both ports becomes possible. The Monty Mass language is a language that enables the use of mathematical expressions. This includes numerical and logical expressions. It also contains control structure expressions like for loops and if cases. Similar to MATLAB, matrices indices start at 1 and not at 0. The embedded MontiArc math language embeds the Monty math language as a behavior language. Therefore, components that are described in embedded MontiArc can be extended by an implementation math section. This behavior description can then be used to automatically generate executable C++ code out of these models. This is done by using the embedded MontiArc Mass 2 C++ generator. For better reusage, we created the C++ code generator for embedded MontiArc application by reusing the embedded MontiArc Mass 2 C++ generator. We adapted the generation process to switch between both generators depending on whether the supplied component contains MontiMass or application behavior. Now I'm going to explain the most important concepts of our embedded MontiArc application language. The four main concepts we introduced when designing the language are textures, sprites, stages and input. Textures are used to represent 2D graphics that will be displayed later on. They can be loaded from a supplied path and deleted later on when not required. Each texture needs to have a unique name that can be later referenced in different embedded MontiArc application components. Sprites are two-dimensional entities to which one or more textures can be assigned. Additionally, a texture delay can be specified. It denotes the amount of ticks that needs to pass until the texture is displayed. The order in which textures are added to a sprite is the same as the animation play order. To enable grouping of sprites, the stage concept was introduced. Similar to actors on a stage in the real world, sprites are the actors that are on a stage in our conceptual language. A stage can be hidden and displayed again. This can be used to change between scenes quickly without deleting all actors. All sprites of a stage are also rendered in the order the sprites were added to the stage, and stages are rendered in the order of their creation. Therefore, the first sprite that is added to the first created stage will be the sprite that is first drawn on the display. And if other sprites overlap the sprite, they will be in front of it. So the first, the first sprite is the sprite that will be in the background. This drawing algorithm is also known as the painter's algorithm. As a painter also starts with drawing the background of an image first, adding additional parts of the image later on. As the creation of standalone applications, that are utilized by a user usually require the interaction between the user and the application. A way of defining these interaction points and triggering changes in the software are required. 
To fulfill this requirement, the embedded Montiac application language allows triggering actions in a model by setting Boolean ports to true if the specified input key is pressed and to false if it is not pressed. You can watch detailed examples for the usage of the embedded Montiac application language in the video of my project partner. This video is linked in the description.